Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a brand new 2023 Rockwood Mini Light 2109S. This thing is super popular in the small trailer segment because it's got a lot of features for something that's under 5,000 pounds. It's great for solo travelers or couples, and we'll show you a few reasons why. I want to get started right here in the front cap where I'm in the bedroom area. We have a dedicated queen bed here with kind of traditional travel trailer storage stacked up and around it. We've got our hanging closets on either side with some shelving up top. We've got nice big nightstands on either side of the bed with power on both sides, a little bit of storage on the right, some USB connections on the left, and then there's pass-through storage that goes up underneath that. We'll take a look at that when we head outside. But elsewhere, we're going to find that we have, again, just more storage here. We can lift it up. This is strut-assisted. We have a nice big chest compartment here with three drawers underneath. And just a testament to that Rockwood quality, we have everything built out of aluminum here in the framing. In a lesser travel trailer, we're gonna see that that's nothing more than a sheet of plywood that's holding that bed up. These things are really built for longevity. They're built with just strength in mind for such a lightweight trailer. They put the TV right here out on the outside of the kitchen near the bedroom. The TV is on a mount. It's a 32 inch flat screen. It can come out, it can face the bed, it can face the couch. It's a pretty versatile location really given this type of travel trailer. Again, like I was saying, it's right across from the couch. So we can pull that out. We can focus it right here where we're seated and watching our entertainment. I think that's really great. This is a jackknife sofa that has a couple of neat features to it. We have cup holders built in both in the center and on the sides. And then back behind me, we have a table here that can come up and out and be set up in front of us to act as our dinette. It simply lifts from the bottom and folds flat to become a bed. So if we ever did have any guest, that's something that's an opportunity for us right there. There's storage up above and Rockwood's nice. They've given us these nice little lifting doors here. And that goes all the way across just for keeping other odds and ends. Our kitchen is simple yet efficient. We have solid surface countertops. There's even a countertop extension on the end here that lifts up and clicks into place, just giving us more room to prep. Our dual basin stainless steel sink is covered by a strainer and a cutting board with a nice high rise faucet there for rinsing out pots and pans or filling up those big pots of water if you want to make noodles for dinner. Speaking of noodles for dinner, we've got a three burner stove with our glass top that just extends that counter space for prep. A nice big oven down beneath from Magic Chef, and they've included some storage in the form of drawers down beneath that. We have another Magic Chef microwave up high, and this is equipped with a GE 12 volt refrigerator. So it's got lots of volume in there. It cools down super fast and not wanting to waste any space next to that. We've even got more cabinetry. So this could be used as either a coat closet or a pantry. We have removable shelving in here and hanging space up top. Down low, they left it open for stashing shoes or whatever else that you want to keep just in and off to the side of that entry door. Right here behind me, we have our bathroom, which is spacious for this style and class of travel trailer. We have a decent sized glass enclosure shower at six foot three. I feel like this is pretty spacious. I do end up in the skylight, but I do have room to operate, wash my hair, use whatever I need to use in here. They've incorporated some great little hanging rack systems for keeping your shampoos and whatnot. And this is also equipped with the water miser system, which is going to allow us to save hot water or water in general if we're boondocking. We're going to link a video of that up top just that it explains it in a little more detail. 
just keeping in line with storage they've put in a nice big closet up over our toilet and that's just going to give us space to keep towels and other things that you might want to keep in the way of toiletries right by our entry door we have a very cool we rv panel here this has clickable buttons that operate our slides all of our lights and on top of that it ties back in to a bluetooth app that we can run from our phone up above that we see our go power monitoring station this has a 30 amp charge controller with solar panels that interact with it on the roof keeping all of our 12 volt systems up and running getting back to this control panel i want to run our slide in real quick just so that we can see what it looks like with the slide in when we do pit stops going down the road okay now that we've got our slide in let's take a look honestly this is pretty accessible we really didn't lose anything in this segment we still have access to literally everything in the trailer and it's pretty easy to walk around as well i can see why people like this for quick stops because i can get to my refrigerator i can get to everything in the kitchen as a matter of fact i'm going to go out on a limb here and say that everything in this trailer is accessible with the slide in you wouldn't even have to run it out to camp if you didn't want to although it does provide more floor space i can get around to both sides of the bed i can access everything in my kitchen i can get to the bathroom i can get to the pantry i can get to the refrigerator there's nothing in here that having the slide in interferes with let's pop outside and check out some of the cool features there outside the mini light the features don't stop we've got some pretty cool things going on we'll get going right up here at the front where we have a large pass-through storage and a magnetic catch on our insulated baggage doors so there's no clip it just simply snaps into place that's pretty cool and easy to operate we also have a plug here for solar on the side so in addition to having that solar panel on the roof you have the option of buying one that you can plug in and drag out into the sunlight should you choose to camp in the shade rockwood's given us that typical rail system that we see on many of their products here it accommodates a table and a griddle that ties back in to our lp tanks we have a TV mount right up above, outside speakers, power over here, as well as cable out. And all of this is up under a large electric awning that rolls out at the touch of a button. Rockwood's given us these beautiful wheels and solid step entry, along with a big grab handle for getting in and out with ease. When we push around to the back, we notice that way down low, we have our electronic stab jacks. So these run up and down at the touch of a button, both front and back. They're there for stabilization, not for leveling the camper, but they do a great job of keeping the camper nice and still. On the very back, we have a ladder heading up to that fully walkable roof. We're prepped for a backup camera. We have a two inch receiver down low, which is gonna be awesome for adding bike racks cargo racks, other accessories, spare tire on the bumper, and an outside shower back here, which is pretty cool considering our dump station is right here at the back as well. Up above it, you can see we've got connections to our shore power, as well as all of our city water in, our cable connections, and our black tank flush is right here. Our slide out has a slide topper on it, so that's gonna allow water and other debris to roll off with ease. I didn't mention it on the front side, but our windows are frameless. It gives it a very nice, sleek look. And Rockwood's done a good job of carving in all the space for just spare storage that they can. We can see that table right there on the back side of the couch. And then pushing forward, we come right back up to the front where we've got our tank fill, should we choose to carry a little water with us, as well as our pass-through storage again. Just going all the way through to the other side, giving us the ability to load things from either side. Our front cap, nice and molded with that big automotive glass windshield that we saw inside over the bed. That thing's beautiful. It really gives it a touch of class. Nice tall cover for our propane tanks. And this is equipped with an electric tongue jack as well as a dual battery box back here in case you wanted to expand your 12 volt setup. 
You guys, I think this is a really cool vehicle. It's one you definitely have to see for yourself in person. There's a reason that our staff is a big fan of it, as well as our customer base. I think it's an awesome floor plan for being under 5,000 pounds dry. Certainly something that would work for couples or solo travelers on the go. Come see it for yourself in McDonough, Georgia at Southern RV or check us out online at southernrv.com. If you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, happy camping.